this was once a railway track and that bit in front of us is where the platform used to be and it's always good just to have a little pop off there first thing make sure the bike's all right I've done that on a lot of bikes now um, slightly shaky though so it looks like someone's been up previous there we go always good just to do that for cinema very fancy or bear wild and it feels nothing like the Mondraker <laughs> my word I'll tell you what this feels about four foot shorter I'm sure it absolutely isn't but wow what a difference it be interesting to see what Broski likes what doesn't like about the old uh, Mondraker yeah? yeah it's still really quite nimble yeah oh I'll tell you what like on the front end, look. Yeah, I can imagine the uh, he likes this a lot. I'm guessing that funny up city it will be absolutely oh yeah. Very quiet as well. See yeah. That's an old bear wild. Nice muddy and slippy. Let's see what uh, let's see what job is. Gross is about to tell me that the small bump complaints on his bike has sorted because there was one of the settings, and he looked like his settings, that we hadn't altered from factory or from when uh, from when he picked it up and that made all the difference. Wow this is shitey. Is, uh, oh, this is a. This looks a slightly dodgy bit. Oh, come on, baby. Yes. Yeah, so we're going for the no doubt challenge again. In. Woohoo! What tree down? God, I can't wait for it to to get a bit drier. This is just horrible. But in the UK, this is what we were. This is what we're up against. You don't ride in this, you don't ride. And that's absolute truth. Of it. <laughs> Steering, forget that. Because I want to. Woo! Yeah, baby. Skids are fucking. Wind loving his old bear, life's good, it's sunny out, what could be better than this? And then you're on an e-bike and climbs like this are doable. I don't know if I could have got up when I was fit, but it would have been granny granny and it wouldn't have been fun. Whereas this is just amazing. The MTB, brilliant mode. And you'll see some of the views up here are absolutely gobsmacked. Effortless, well not effortless. Some of you will say, why don't you go to Chris on the throttle? Nope, and doesn't have a can't have a throttle. Still got a pedal the bugger. Look at that for a view, I don't you can see it on that. Just amazing. Hold uh I'll stop in a second just for a pan. Okay. Are you off, bro? Not yet, so that's where Steve lives. And then look at this review. And Manchester all the way down there. What a beautiful, beautiful day. 
not done that for quite a long time that was broski what could be better absolutely love it and this place is called Whitmer for those who don't know near Rockdale and it's really good for riding conditions are slightly wet but with the weather we've had not even surprised is it Part of the world, well, the countryside is. Suspension is the absolute highlight of this bike. You've never been on suspension. It's just really is super. Pretty muddy. Pretty muddy. Oh dear. Oh. Face we're trying to get over there. But this looks mega deep. <coughs> but uh, of course it's for me, bros can kind of lead the way. And then if he sinks, I'll go a different way. Ooh. What about this way though? What do you think? That'll do. That'll do. Jesus Christ. It's one of them. <laughs> you just can't tell. Oh, he's up and away. <laughs> Brick Road, no idea why. Um, who knows? But this is quite a nice little descent. It'll be interesting to see what sort of damage the water's done. So you do get like quite a few channels down here. But we'll see. Descent, nice. It was spotted. Oh, it's off and away. There you go. Yeah, let's climb. Let's see if we can. Get a few without any dabs, that was a pretty sharp turn. This used to be a bit of a struggle on an analog bike. To be honest on these, it's not too bad at all. It's not often that we don't get up these days. Oh, sorry. Come on dog. Uh, that's walkers on the bike trail because we yeah, haven't got, you know, plenty space on their own walking path. And it pisses me off. But that's just me. I don't understand why they do it. And they do it around bloody 
Gisborne Forest just to be annoying it might just be me getting cranky as I'm getting older but that's a that's a decent climb that especially on an analog bike and there's Broski making it look just as easy because sometimes the footage isn't that good when you just by yourself and there's no one in front of you it's no like perspective at all so this being the quarry is going to be full of freaking puddles as it always is these people that live in sunny climbs I don't know how bloody lucky they are How close was that? Been going about Maybe he's down the black He's got nothing on the GoPro Insta, but it's rather well yeah steep in the quarry it's a great thing to visit well, for Sunday I'm surprised at how quiet it is I thought it would have been quite a lot bigger. So that's followed by a lake and then a really technical climb up. Look on the analog bikes was again a proper test of skill and endurance and on these not so much I don't think I could do it on a, a normal bike anymore just shows how good these these e-bikes are Follow the leader. Broski's in the lead. Right, what do you this then? Part in the Red Sea. I with this. Oh, sure. Not sure if this looks bad on the uh, camera, but it is.
a while since I've been down this way. I don't think uh, Bumble's been down this track at all. I know that tangerine of uh, our Wayne's hasn't. But look at this, beautiful. And that up there, that's where Peaky Blinders was shot. Right there. <laughs> Top fun. Top fun indeed. Uh, the wrong way, mate. I was looking up there, if I'm honest. on the camera but it's just like little marbles and as they move around obviously you can't see it Really well. At the end of the ride now. Just got this little bit today. Hi, you okay? Well, for a March ride in the middle of kind of winter, it's been all right. Not too bad at all.